everyone. Good Wednesday evening to you. It is a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We've not been geeking out on much wintry weather over the last week. It seems like forever ago that we had that harsh cold snap with wind and some snow around Christmas time. Boy, have we come a long way since then. We'll get to the uh, details on a return of a little bit of a wintry interlude coming up later this week. But first, happy Perihelion Day to those who celebrate. Uh, perihelion is the uh, point in the Earth's orbit in which we are closest to the sun in that annual trip around the sun. It's more of an ellipse than a perfect circle, and so there are times of the year that we're a little bit closer to the sun and a little bit farther away. Other times, we're about 3 million miles closer on today's date than we are at aphelion, which occurs in early July, right around July the 4th, six months from right now. So, behind all those clouds today was the sun, which... A little bit closer than uh, it is at other times of the year, but of course that has really no bearing on weather here on Earth. The seasons and practical weather all about the tilts of the Earth relative to the uh, sun. And in at this time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, we're tilted away from the sun. And that means, of course, it is wintertime. But temperatures, anything but wintry over the last few days. These are just the highs. So far in January, we did 59 today after 60 yesterday. Even those 40s on the first and second, of course, way, way above the average. It's also been kind of a wet go of it. It's kind of a shame that we haven't seen much sun to go along with these mild temperatures. But typically, you know, in the dead of winter, if it's going to be this warm, chances are it's going to be pretty cloudy and going to rain. And it has rained uh, for four days in a row now, officially at the airport. 1.2 inches worth of precipitation so far, 0.83 inches above average through the first four days of the month. The recent rains prompted, no surprise, a flood warning for Eagle Creek, Trouble County. This is between Southington and Braceville mostly. This is a an area that sees frequent flooding even when the rest of the area has not seen a whole lot of rain. Uh, a lot of times flood warnings are issued for this area and we're just barely into flood stage. Right now the most recent observation at Phalanx Station 9.88 feet. Flood stage begins at 9.5 feet. We are expecting uh, things to drop below flood stage over the uh, next several hours. Real quickly, I thought this was kind of neat. I saw a statistic uh, online today, and I wanted to share this. Buffalo, New York, 100 inches worth of snow this winter. They have nothing on the ground. They, of course, just had feet and feet of snow uh, around Christmas time, but there's nothing on the ground. That's how warm it has gotten over the last uh, handful of days. Can you imagine that? 100 inches of snow so far this winter, and right now in the dead of winter, there's not anything, really, other than maybe just a few piles here and there. There's really no snow cover in western New York. And across our area as well, as we've been enjoying the warmth, we've uh, not been enjoying so much the rain. I've heard from a lot of uh, dog owners today that are wishing from a, uh, for a break from the rain because it's so muddy. No fun to track all that stuff into the house. and. One last band of showers pushing through as of this recording at 7.08. A little bit of a gusty wind here and there with this. No big deal. As we head through the overnight, we'll actually see a clearing sky. And I think we will see some sunshine as our Thursday gets underway. Clouds will increase in the afternoon. I think our model's a little aggressive here, pushing in the moisture. Uh, a couple of hours after sunset, I think this is more later in the evening. But it'll probably start as kind of a rain-snow mix for a couple of hours. Then as the atmosphere continues to cool overnight... I would expect more snow showers and flurries and fewer raindrops as we cool closer to freezing. Flurries will continue into Friday, just a pretty typical January day Friday. Gray skies, flurries coming and going. It's going to feel and look like January for a change. But as we talked about yesterday on Weather for Weather Geeks, this next system was trending to the south. It continues to trend to the south, so I don't think this is going to be much of an issue for us. Maybe we see a flurry from Lake Effect first thing Saturday morning, but overall, not a... Uh, not much in the way of uh, impactful snow for us. I do think that we have a chance to see the ground coated tomorrow night, first thing Friday morning, with more flurries throughout Friday into Friday night. And a little lake enhancement, a little lake effect with this might give some small additional accumulations, especially in Mercer County, uh, Greenville, over to New Lebanon, even down towards Grove City, perhaps. So kind of the northern and eastern parts of Mercer County. Those are the areas you have a better chance of seeing maybe more than an inch, maybe an inch and a half to two inches between Thursday night and late Friday night. All right, let's talk about the longer range because we didn't do that much last evening. Uh, this is just one kind of suite of modeling that I'm going to show you, but generally the idea on some of our medium range models is fairly similar in that winter is in a coma uh, for the next couple weeks. Now, can it snow? Yes. In fact, it's going to tomorrow night and into Friday. We can have little interludes here and there, um, but the overall pattern is not 
on a large scale, very wintry at all, for the eastern U.S. in the short term and the medium term as well. Let's roll this forward. This is the GFS extended version of the GFS, so this will take us all the way through the end of January into February. Look how the warmth is going to dominate all the way through the next two weeks. We're going to stop this. This is the uh, kind of five or six day chunk from the 16th through the 23rd. Uh, dead of winter. I mean, climatologically speaking, the coldest time of the year is right around January 20th. Uh, boy, east of the Rockies, lots and lots of orange and red. Now, again, don't mistake this for a snow-free pattern. We can still see every now and then a little snow, but odds are going to favor more liquid precipitation than snow when you have these kinds of temperature anomalies. When will this change? I think it's going to be towards the end of the month. Um, you see this idea on this modeling, and, and this has the support of some other model ideas as well. Here's, here's a look at the dates. So we're talking about the last week of January here. The reds and oranges fade, more blues and greens take over across the lower 48 states. I think this is generally the right idea, and this will probably take us into that first week of February. So the next kind of stretch where we'll have maybe some typical winter weather for more than a day or two, maybe several consecutive days, um, would be towards the end of the month and into early February. This stands in stark contrast to last winter um, when we started to see winter clicking in right around mid-month, right around January 13th, 15th, 16th, something like that. And then it was stayed pretty cold into about the first week to 10 days or so of February. This year, uh, the colder weather is going to wait a while longer, maybe well into January, maybe that last week of January, finally, we see the pattern change. But in the meantime, if, if you are not a fan of snow and you don't like driving in it and you don't like messing with it, hey, you're going to like this pattern for the next couple weeks. Yes, it can snow, but probably not much. And it's not going to be the kind of pattern where any snow sticks around for very long. Even tomorrow night, get a little coating of snow. We're going to be mostly above freezing during the daylight hours for several days after that. So whatever snow accumulates is not going to be around very long. All right, that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Let's do it again on Thursday, same time and same place.